I am delighted to be joined by Dr. Darren Stevens. Thank you for joining us, Darren. Uh, you are doing a bonus presentation at the 2024 conference, and your topic is the meta model rewritten. So do please start by telling us a little bit more about yourself and your session. Well, my myself, I'm a university lecturer uh, in, in Northampton. Uh, I also have my own business on the side, obviously, where we look at adult development. So my research was in cognitive complexity, but I did it from a completely different angle to everybody else. You've got some big players like Otto Lasky and Robert Keegan, but I did it using an NLP thing called a meta program. OK, now I, I reframed and renamed them. I'm, I'm going to be talking about that in my talk, how I reframed and renamed them and why, because I think that's really important. But from a meta model perspective, the way we can apply our language has changed when you understand how we are at different levels of development. So where originally the meta model was written and you'd have um, a list of deletions, distortions and generalizations and some pointers that, you know, this is how we would respond to these kind of things. Actually, when it comes down to it, somebody at the higher levels of self-awareness, which, which my system measures, would never say, I know what you're thinking. And the reason for that is because they know they don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> it's that simple, right? Yeah. So what, I, what I've done is I've taken, I've taken that meta model and I've applied um, my developmental levels to it and the types of questions you'll get and the types of responses you get at the different levels. Now, I know originally um, that it was a content model changed to a process model and now I've put it back to a more of a content model. That's fine. It's still different based on developmental levels. And that's what we're going to be talking about. And, the, and it sounds like those developmental levels are, are developmental levels of awareness in an adult oh. rather than developmental levels from child through to adult. Yeah, that's perfect. I should probably have said that. Yeah, Piaget did the initial research. You're absolutely right on children. Mine is definitely on adults because we don't need more knowledgeable others, as Vygotsky said. What we need actually is more complex others. So when you think about that from a coaching and development perspective, I, I need to make sure that the coach that I have is a level above me in order to see my patterns. Otherwise, they can't. So that will tie in nicely to how we language our level using the meta model, the, the new meta model. Yes, wonderful. So what practical learnings will delegates take away from your session? Really, they're going to understand how, I mean, the meta model is great and it does work. I mean, we, I've been doing NLP for 20 years and I, and I still use it. What they'll get out of it is the nuances, the differences that when they say, hang on a second, this, I know this is what I've noticed in my clients. They say, yeah, that, that's what I say. I didn't know that actually my level response is at AQ7, awareness quotient seven. You were absolutely right about self-awareness. So the awareness quotient seven response, people relate to it and they don't relate to the level five response, which is what is actually taught, believe it or not. The, the, the majority of the ways that we're taught to respond aren't that high level. Right. I suppose it's got to cater for everyone. Yes. You know, so uh, on the day, they'll be able to understand where they fit into it and understand how that will benefit them when they're hearing other people talking, responding and, and maybe questioning. But it, it will allow them to understand where the person sits on the developmental level and what that means for them. Wonderful. So is there anything that delegates can do before your session that will give them sort of like a deeper understanding or a deeper experience during your session? I, I suppose they could um, think about and, and be honest with themselves about how they do respond in the moment. If somebody says, I know what you're thinking, do they automatically say, really? You know, if they, Do they automatically respond in a meta, pro, in a meta model kind of way yeah. or do they actually question it a little differently? So I want them to be much more aware of how they are coming in mm. so that when they leave, they, they, their awareness might have shifted a little bit so they could practice listening now. And I know we do because that's what coaches, NLPers and people, you know, psychologists, that's what we all do. We, we listen. But how are they listening and what are they listening for? And for me, it's the developmental levels. Mm. Wonderful. So, Darren, what inspired you to want to present at the NLP conference? Um, <clears throat> I'm a real advocate for research and kind of evidence based practice, shall we say. 
Uh, there's a big move in human resource management at the moment, which is in the field that I work. Even though my research, my PhD is in psychology, I work in HRM, and there's a there's a move in the last few years, five or so, about evidence based um, practice. And I think NLP would would benefit from uh, from from evidence based practice. And I know there are a few people doing it. I know, you know, Dr. Phil and people like this are all all working on that. And I think I want I just want to add to that um, body of evidence that says. This is NLP, this is useful, and this is how we can show it and demonstrate it with a reference. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Darren, for uh, for giving us a bit more insight into, into what your presentation is going to be about. Um, so to remind everybody watching, Darren is actually one of our bonus presenters this year. So Darren will be presenting on Thursday, the 11th of April, 2024, and that'll be at 1900, so 7 p.m. Uh, BST, because the clocks will have gone forward by then. Uh, and this, this presentation will be available for everybody to attend live who has a conference ticket. So we will very much looking forward to seeing you all on this bonus presentation. And thank you, Darren. Looking forward to seeing you in April. Thank you very much. It's brilliant.